specifically says, I hear motorcycles and cars drag racing down the South Street almost every week. It feels lawless, dangerous, and scary. What can be done about it? I know we're talking about a lot of those issues here, but um, again, I know that you're also working on a lot of ways to help police with impoundments. Did you want to discuss that matter? Yeah, we have a pretty good idea where the rally points are. Um, you know, the the intel and the experience and the 911 calls from people on this call and other residents, by the way, have really helped. So uh, we know where we have a good chance during a warm uh, night in the summer of finding a high concentration of illegal motorcycles when they stop to take a break. But without the ability to impound them at that point, really, what good does it do? We can't chase them. Uh, and now we can't uh, we can't corral them either. Right. And one of the reasons that we haven't been able to is we didn't have the capability to do it on a large scale. Um, and that has just changed. I just actually found out today uh, that a, a request that I made um, for the Department of Streets and Sanitation to obtain a new specialty vehicle that can tow up to 10 motorcycles at a time. Um, we were able to identify some money in the budget and we were able to acquire one. We now have one which means we can go to a place like, for example, the BP Amico station um, where LaSalle and Clark meet, um, which is oftentimes a rallying point. And we can find vehicles that have outstanding warrants that have been illegally modified that we have on video doing, you know, uh, drifting or drag racing or whatever, and immediate impoundments can be affected um, and those vehicles can be securely towed. Now we have to be careful how we do that because obviously the city is liable for any damage uh, that is incurred to the vehicle in the in the process of seizing it. This new vehicle that we've acquired um, is specifically designed to haul them in a quick, efficient manner and in a safe manner where it won't cause damage uh, to the vehicle. So we won't we don't wind up with uh, lawsuits and, and judgments that we have to pay uh, the very offenders that we're trying to crack down on. So you know, just going through the the Q and A section, I, I see a lot of frustration. Um, with people talking about some of these measures that we're offering right now, uh, they don't seem to be enough. And I acknowledge that, you know, we have some limitations that I think most of the uh, sworn personnel on this call are a little bit frustrated with the limitations that they have to operate under, but they don't make those rules. They have to live under those rules and they have to respect those rules. And those rules tend to uh, hamper what they might do otherwise. Um, I'm a civilian and I feel the same sense of frustration. So we're trying to make as much progress as we can. Some of it is, you know, admittedly small steps, but I think this new vehicle that we have is going to be a little bit bigger than a small step, especially if it's employed uh, correctly. And at the beginning of the season, what we want is to affect a couple of missions where a number of impoundments will be made and the very social media um, channels that right now promote this activity will have a deterring effect because the people who get their bike impounded are gonna say, hey, you know, I went to Chicago and, and they, they got my bike, you know, I, it's gonna cost me $800 to get it out of the pound. You know, maybe this isn't the place that I wanna go and engage in that kind of reckless drifting behavior anymore. So we're hoping for a magnifying effect from some of these enforcement missions where we can do the most we have given the resources that we have um, and allow the word to spread and to have it be a disincentive for these groups to keep coming downtown. That's going to make a difference. Um, and hopefully you'll start to see it, you know, where it doesn't happen as often as it, as it has. Through your assistance and with the streets and sand, that vehicle was deployed this weekend for a couple of missions that we ran and we ended up having 76 tows this weekend and we brought the, that vehicle out and one motorcycle was taken so we're hoping through social media that the word is spread like you said to uh to put an end to some of these motorcycles